Hey friends, I'm Dr. Angelica Underwood and I am so glad to be here in the 60 day challenge, day 14. And today it's a very interesting topic. In fact, it's one of my favorite topics. You see, nothing happens by chance. We have to be able to recognize the law of synchronicity. We have to be able to recognize the power of intuition because those tools are the ones that help us make better decisions and help us to be able to lead others and be able to lead our kids or family members when situations come about. You see, we need to be able to recognize patterns that gives us the ability to predict, especially in the 21st century. We usually have that question, to be or not to be, you know? That's the question. The question that we always have is, should I do this? Should I do that? We begin to question our goals. We begin to question what we desire in life. But when you begin to understand the law of synchronicity, this is what I have to say. You, I don't know if you've ever experienced a coincidence, you know, so incredible that you're stunned. You're like, oh my God, how did this happen? And you kind of had this gut feeling that it would happen. You see, that intuition lives in the gut. It lives in our stomach. I mean, we feel it. We know. We know that we know. And we don't even know how we know things, right? But when you begin to pay attention to intuition and you begin to take uh, steps based on synchronicity and intuition, it's amazing. Amazing things begin to happen. You see, synchronicity is a word that was coined by Carl Jung. And in fact, he described it as coincidences that occurred as casual events, you know. But you can see co the, the law of synchronicity happen with people, events, and things. So you have to pay attention because when you begin to see this, what I consider symbolic language, you begin to put those pieces together. And those pieces that I'm talking about are what we call patterns. We begin to see patterns that give us messages and we need to be able to read that symbolic language and be able to distinguish what the universe is telling us, you know, because the universe speaks to us. We just don't know how to pay attention because we live in our heads. We live in our fears and we get lost in all that information. But when you begin to listen to the, the symbolic language or what I call the loss of synchronicity, you know, what Carl Jung called it, and you begin to notice the patterns you could either move towards your goals or you could move away from your goals because those patterns will tell you if you're closer. You know, have you ever played that game warm and cold? You know, when you're getting closer, it gets warmer. And when you get further away, it's cold. Well, with symbolic language, that's exactly what it is. Either you're getting closer and it gets warmer or you're getting far away and it gets cold. So you need to be able to distinguish. Hey, Nora, great to see you. You know, my, my friend Nora knows what symbolic language is. So I really want to encourage you that in order to make better decisions and live in the 21st century, we need to start listening to our intuition because it, it deals with those patterns that we could begin to predict whether we should be moving towards our goal or further away. In fact, let me tell you, I don't know if you ever heard of the law of the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. This is a, a, a great man. His name is John Maxwell. And he talks about the law of intuition. And let me tell you what he says. He says that leaders evaluate everything with leadership bias. And he even says that the law of intuition is probably the most difficult to understand, which it is. It's very hard to understand because we question it, but yet we live it. We feel it. And he says that the law of intuition is based on, on facts plus instinct. You know, it's that gut feeling. We know that we know and we don't know how we know. 
So once you begin to listen to that, he says that what separates great leaders is that they follow their intuition. And that distinguish, distinguishes the great leader from a good leader. The great leader uses intuition. So if leaders are using intuition, you need to begin using intuition. Start listening and reading symbolic language. You see what's happening in your life. And notice, am I getting closer to my goal or am I moving farther, farther away from my goal? And depending on what you see, what you feel, I usually record things on a journal. And it helps me to ba make better decisions because based on intuition, you could save your life. You can help your kids. Um, intuition, it's seen like this goo, you know, this woo-woo stuff, but it's not. It lives within us. You know what? In fact, if you study the brain and you go deeper into, hey, Clara, great to see you and everybody who's joining me, make some notes and comments. I would love engagement. So if you could ask me questions or share your experience, do it now. Tell me how you use intuition, how it has helped you in your life, because it, it helped me in many, many cases, you know, especially when I was uh, finding out that I had um, a cancer, you know, I kind of already knew that I had to go to the doctor because I kept seeing patterns and my beautiful friend Nora that's joining us right now uh, helped me tapped into uh, a lot of my intuitive uh, feelings and instinct and knowing how to find medical care for myself beyond the Western, uh, uh, the you know, just the natural I went into the alternative care and I had uh, Western medicine. It was beautiful, but begin to listen to it because we can help our kids. We can make better decisions as leaders. We could really influence people and um, know exactly how to move forward in life because life is tough. I mean, in the 21st century, I mean, things are happening constantly. But if you listen to what's happening and you begin to listen to that symbolic language, you will be a better uh, decision maker. And that's really one of what I wanted to share today. Nora is saying your intuition was incredible and helpful to your own medical case. That's exactly right, Nora. I mean, you lived in, and you were with me in so many cases and so many times where I was experiencing um, medical, I mean, illness, and I was able to to make the right decisions based on medical care because I used my intuition, you know? So intuition is powerful. It's a gift that we're all born with. It's a natural instinct. So I encourage all of you to begin using your intuition. Hey, Renee, great to see you. You know, go ahead and comment, share, like this video. I mean, I am trying to help people with uh, tips, and tricks and uh, strategies on how to achieve their New Year's resolution, how to make better decisions, how to really um, make their dreams come alive. You know, dreams are powerful, but how do we turn those dreams into reality? You know, and that's what my topic is about today. It's about you understanding intuition, intuition, being able to understand the law of synchronicity and hey, follow me. I love this topic and um, I'm here to help you with tips. And like I said before, if you can share, you can like. And if you want to listen to the replay, go ahead. And I'd love to hear your comments. Comment below. Glad is saying, do you think that women are better at following their intuition? You know, that's very interesting because I've been finding that a lot of men are tapping into that female energy, Clara. Uh, I think, you know, there's that masculine energy and there's that female energy. And the, and the female energy is more intuitive. It has that uh, instinct of something might happen, that protective instinct. Um, males have it, but I have found more and more male or men having intuitive thoughts, you know. I've met a lot of leaders in my in my life and they have been very intuitive and they're connecting to that 
uh, self-discovery and self-awareness to, to help them make better decisions in life. So um, that was a great question, Clara. Thank you for asking. Yeah, Nora is saying that she thinks men are very intuitive. So what do you think, Carlos? You're there. Um, go ahead and chime in and tell us what you think. Carlos René Ramirez is a great leader in Laredo, Texas, and he is very intuitive. You know, he's able to make decisions and help a lot of families in Laredo. So if you want to share anything, René, I would love that. Um, but yes, intuition is my favorite topic. But anyways, if you want to read the 21 Irrefutable Laws, it talks about intuition, and he's an awesome leader. Uh, he is a leader in spirituality, education, and um, he's well-known all over the world. So intuition is really talked about more and more. So I really uh, encourage you to tap into your own instinct. But, you know, gather facts. Gather the gut feeling so that you could really prepare yourself to um make the decisions and then being able to predict i mean that's what we're using it for it's not that woo woo stuff that psychics use it's it's more of the human intuitive uh instinct that we're using and that i'm talking about today but anyways it makes you more intelligent it makes you more savvy and um hey we, we have to use it because in the 21st century, there's so much happening and uh, we need to be able to be prepared for life. But anyways, I will be here with you tomorrow again. You guys be great, be intuitive and uh, share, like, comment below. And I will see you tomorrow on day 15. So stay tuned and stick to your goals. Bye-bye. My dogs are having an awesome time here. Bye.